kindergarten, just pencil, eraser, and your book today for math. And we are working on lesson 5.6, write addition sentences. Again, you guys have not written a lot of addition sentences, but you've worked with so many of them in the classroom, and you've just gotten to where you do it quick as a snap. I think we'll be all right here. So let's take a look here at this example. Do you see these fish? So circle the set you start with and how many are being added. So that's actually going to be probably the hardest part with today is to figure out which ones they mean to be the ones that start out and which ones are getting added. So your clue here is going to be, do you see how they write the number sentences this direction? So the starting out ones will be on this side and the added to them ones will be on this side. So what we're going to do today to help practice this is to circle the set that we start with. Now it says right here that we're starting with two. So do you see how these two are right kind of over here? You guys know this from in the classroom, right? When you added things, I told you to put one group in one area and another group in another area. It's just the same thing in pictures. Go ahead to trace. 2 plus 1 is the same as 3. And again, just as a reminder, you guys know it would be just as correct to write this number sentence, three is the same as two plus one, right? Oh dear, that's really hard to see. Let me write this down here. Three is the same as two plus one. Whichever order you put it in, this symbol here just means that this thing is the same as that one. And indeed, that's what we have. All right, turn it over here. You can see they have circled the ones that they started with and then count it up the ones to add and put it here. So go ahead to trace these, circle the amount that got started with. So take a look down here at number two. What got started? Well, it started out with this piece of, I think that's an avocado, one. And then you guys can see how many are being added. Put that here and then write the sum, remember? When we add two numbers, two amounts together, when they're put together, that amount is the sum. All right, down here, same thing. Circle what started with, then go ahead and finish the number sentence. All right, next page here. Same thing as we did on the previous page. Circle the beginning one write down how many are getting added together, and then trace to finish the number sentence. On all of these, last page, up here, there is a boy named Bill, and Bill is fishing, and Bill catches two fish. Now, you can draw fish however you would like. I'm going to show you the way I do it. I start here. I swoop down, up and around like that and then connect it. You can even give them a, an eye and a smiley face if you want to. So down, swoop up and around, connect it. There are those two. Now, Jake is also fishing with Bill. Here is Jake. We do not know how many fish he catches. Do you see my question mark here that says we don't know? All together, they catch four fish. So go ahead and put the four there. Now you guys did this kind of yesterday with linking cubes a little bit. Draw in the extra fish to tell us how many need to be here to get to four altogether. Boys and girls down here, you are going to make up your own fish math story. You're going to have a number of fish that we start out with, a number of fish that get added to it, and then the sum, how many, all together. So down here, you guys make up the numbers.